and I'll show you how to write a program. Before we start, I'll show you the general layout of the program. Under the File menu, you can open existing programs and save programs that you've written. The Edit menu supports typical editing functions and lets you fine-tune some parameters, which we'll talk about later. The Program menu has all the different program steps that you can use in writing a Robiscope program, which we will use for our program. And the Scope menu lets you immediately affect microscope functions, like turning the lamp on, off, opening the shutter, and closing the shutter, not as part of the program, but immediately, so that you can manipulate the microscope in the process of writing the program if you need to. So we're going to write a program which is going to acquire data in four sequences. We have a sample of pond water which has some fluorescent algae and other animals in it and we're going to acquire images both with fluorescent light, white light, and also in two different focal planes. So in essence we're going to be making four time-lapse movies simultaneously from the same data sample. Here we go. To start out with, we will have the microscope turn the lamp on. We will wait 10 seconds so that the lamp has a chance to stabilize. And then we will acquire an image. Then we'll turn the lamp off. And then we will open the UV shutter. And we'll give that a little bit of time to stabilize as well. Okay, now we're going to acquire the ultraviolet illuminated image. And now we're going to focus to a different focal plane. So when you activate the focus command, a little dialog comes up which tells you that you can either use the arrow keys or the arrow buttons on the keyboard in order to change the focal plane. I'll use these arrow buttons on the program here. So as this is counting, the stepper motor on the focus knob is focusing and we're moving to a different focal plane. Okay, now that's an, another, that's sort of an interesting different set of animals right there as I'm looking through the microscope. So we'll choose that focal plane. And from there, we will acquire an image. Then we'll close the shutter and turn the lamp on. Wait a little bit for the lamp to stabilize. And acquire another image. Now we'll focus back to the original plane where we were. Okay, we'll focus back to zero. And we'll turn the lamp off. And now we're going to wait. Now, depending on the time-lapse movie, you might wait 10 minutes or an hour. In this case, we're just going to wait 10 seconds so that the program will run quickly. And then after 10 seconds, we're going to start a repeat loop. We're going to repeat all these instructions just once for the sake of brevity. And what we're going to do is we'll repeat the instruction which follows repeat, which is go to, and we're going to go to step one. So the program will do this whole thing and then repeat the whole thing one time. And now we're ready to run the program. 
So all you do is click Run. It starts by turning on the lamp, and it waits for 10 seconds to give the lamp time to get to full illumination. Then it acquires an image, names it with the time, Then it turns the lamp off and it opens the UV shutter, waits for that image to stabilize and captures it. Now we're going to move to a different focal plane to bring a different organism into focus and capture an image of that one. And then we'll take a look at that same organism in focus with bright field. There it is. Another image is saved of that, and now we'll go back to the original focal plane. Turn off the lamp, and we'll wait 10 seconds, and then we will repeat this one time. We'll go back to the beginning, turn on the lamp again, wait for it to stabilize, acquire an image, Turn the lamp off and open the shutter. Acquire another image. Change focal planes. Acquire another image. Turn off the fluorescence. And turn back on the regular illumination. And acquire another image. And this will be the last time through our repeat loop, so the program will stop here. That was just acquiring a couple of images, but the system is normally used to acquire whole time-lapse movies. Here we see some C. elegans embryos under DIC optics. The Robiscope system can automate bright field, dark field, phase contrast, or even confocal microscopes from a variety of manufacturers. If you have any questions about our Roboscope microscope automation equipment, software and accessories, we'll be happy to answer them. You can call us toll free at 1-800-733-3874. In addition to the Roboscope focus shutter and lamp controllers demonstrated in this video, we also make a low cost computer controlled XY stage, a full line of micro injection control equipment, glide stages and microscope stage temperature controllers. TriTech Research prides itself on being able to produce custom laboratory equipment. So if you have any laboratory experiments involving microscopy that you would like to automate, tell us about them and we can probably offer you an innovative low-cost solution. Again, our number is 1-800-733-3874. And you can visit our website at www.tritechresearch.com. Oh. Uh.